Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a specific person only door in Roblox Studio. So how the system works is the system checks if your username is the special person that you put in the username. And if it isn't, the door will keep closed. But if your username is the specific username named, then the door will open. It's kind of like an owner only door. I'll give you a bit of an example. Let's say I had to join into the server and the specific person was myself. I joined into the server, the door or my owner only door would be open. But let's say we had some fans join in, they would not be able to access that door because their name is not its underscore floppy fish. So for starters, you're gonna to wanna to make sure Explore and Properties are enabled. If Explore and Properties are not enabled, click on the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explore and Properties and they should pop up somewhere over your screen. So now that you've enabled Explore and Properties, you now wanna go and insert your part, which is going to be used as the Pacific only door. So we can just make it very basic for this tutorial. We're just gonna make it a simple, kind of bit of a door there, wall, whatever you would like to use it as. We're just gonna make sure to go and anchor it and then you wanna go and customize your part, change the color up, change whatever you, the transparency up, change the name, whatever you feel like. Now we'll, we will actually have to change the name for this tutorial so that the script can select the correct part to change the transparency and the can collide of. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna go and change the part name to um, player only door, just like that. Door, just so we can find it in our workspace, but you could do something like part one, part two. You just wanna make sure that there is not two parts with the same name in Roblox Studio or the script will get confused on which part you actually want the transparency to change from and whatnot. Once you've finished customizing your part, you wanna head over to start a player, click on the down arrow next to start a player, and then you wanna click on the plus button next to start a player scripts. You then wanna insert a local script. So now that we've inserted a local script inside starter player scripts, we want to head down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code, and then paste in the new code. So we're going to have to change quite a few things here, so you're going to want to follow along. So on line two where it says local door, we're basically identifying on what our door is. I'll do a bit of a run through on actually what is all happening here shortly, but we're just going to go and change everything that we actually need to change. For, to, to be able to make this door to work. So what we want to do here is we're identifying on what our part actually is. So our part is in game, the main game, to the workspace, the workspace folder in Explorer. Then we're doing wait for child because a the part inside workspace is the child of the parent, uh, child of the workspace, for example. So the it, it's almost like a family, I guess you could say. The, um, the workspace is the main fol uh, folder and then you've got the other children right in there. And as you guys can see where it says parent, it says the workspace. So the parent of these items stored in workspace are the parent of workspace and are the actual children of workspace. Anyway, wait for child. And then you can also do dot door or dot whatever your part name is, but wait for child that basically makes the system wait until it's actually found your part. But anyway, then you wanna go and change door to whatever your door name is. Now, if you guys remember, remember we renamed our part to player only door. So we would go and change door to player only door, just like that. And if you start typing it in, it should pop up there and you just wanna go and click enter and then it will automatically fill it in for you. But you wanna go and change this name to whatever your door name is, which is gonna be changing the transparency if the specific player is in the server. Now, depending on how transparent you actually want the door to be when the part is open, you wanna go and adjust that right here. So as you guys can see, local function open door. We are creating a function which is called open door and the open door, the open door function is, is basically this. So door.canclide equals false, basically meaning players can then walk through the part and then we're also setting the transparency to one so that the part is invisible. But we're creating a function here and this function is called open door and this is what the open door function will do. Now, let's say you also had maybe some GUI on your your door saying game only do developer door or um, specific only door or Creekcraft only door. You'd, you just want to go and delete these two lines here. And obviously you just want to keep the, um, the door. You insert a surface GUI there, text label, and then you just do it like that. But um, you can go and adjust that if you would like. But for this tutorial, we won't add GUI on our screen, but I've added it just there for anyone who does want to have GUI on their actual board. 
Anyway, then you can also go and adjust the can collision here. So we want to keep that as true because closing the door, basically meaning the door is staying closed, the can collision will be true, basically meaning no one can actually walk through it except the user, the specific person. And then we're resetting the transparency to zero, basically meaning it is not transparent and it is a fully solid block. So we don't actually really want to adjust this. This is exactly what we want. We don't want it to be changed, but you're able to adjust the, the door transparency right here on how transparent you want the door when the door is actually opened. Now here on line 17, it goes, if player dot name equals equals specific person, our, and our specific person is our name up there, which we actually still need to change, then the open door, then the, the function will go, which is the open door, then open door, which would change the door dot can collide door dot transparency else so if it if if there isn't the specific person else then it will close the door making door dot can collide equals true and the door dot transparency equals zero then it ends the script right there now something i did forget to do we want to go and change the specific person to whatever your username is of the specific person not their display name their main roblox username so for example my display name could be floppy fish but actually my real roblox username is itz underscore floppy fish so we'll go and type that in there itz underscore floppy fish just like that once we've done that there is nothing else we need to change so we want to head up here click on the x button next to a script once you've finished adjusting everything you want to click on file and publish your game to roblox for this tutorial i'm going to be testing our game out in the main roblox page you can use team test you can use play but main roblox page is i'm going to be doing a comparison where i've got my other alt account in there also uh, to show you that the door will not be open for them but on my main account the door will be open on the itz underscore floppy fish account kind of just to give you a bit of a comparison and actually show you on how it works as you guys can see we are now in the base plate in here on my left i've got my alt account called bgs hatcher og og this was a, an account i used for hatching and bubblegum simulator back in the good old days but um please excuse the account name but anyway this is my alt account right here and then this is my main Roblox account, itz underscore floppy fish. And as you guys can see, because my account name is not its underscore floppy fish, the part is still here. But as you guys can see, because my username on this account is itz underscore floppy fish, the door is not there. Now, if I go and walk around here, you'll be able to see on my screen right there on the BGS Hatcher account, it looks like I'm walking straight through the wall. But in reality, on my screen, there is no such wall and I can walk straight through it. Now, if I had to leave that there right there and I had to go on my alt account and I had to go try and walk into the wall, as you guys can see, I can't walk through and it even shows it on my uh, main account screen. And as you guys can see, I simply have no way of getting through it, around it, and really, because, simply because my name is not ITZ underscore floppy fish. So we cannot access the door. If you guys are a little bit lost, you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket in my Discord server and we will happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I really do appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see everyone in the next video.